Hello, 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 Scorpio. Welcome to Angie Blog. Welcome to your reading. Today I'm doing this week uh, for the March 7 to the 13. We're gonna do Think Outside the Box. Yes. And I just finished uh, podcast number 27. Everything that you need to know will be in the description below. Thank you so much, guys, for your like, comments, and subscribe, your good vibes. It feels amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, thank you also for the supporters of your Story Modern podcast. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that it's helping you. I'm so glad that also here. Welcome, new subscriber. Welcome to the family. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let's get into your reading. I'm going to try to make these readings uh, short and possibly and sweet and think outside of the box kind of thing, okay? Because uh, I've been divinely guided here because the energies are very intense. So we are going to stay high vibe above everything, all right? All right, so these are uh, messages that I already meditated and was divinely guided to take. But first, let's tap into your energy, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what you need to know to think outside the box, all right? Because that's what we're doing, getting out of the status quo, not being in this uh, 3D crap, you know? Yeah, wisdom, mm-hmm. Three of swords, letting go of heartbreak. All right, being the high priestess. Listen to your intuition, all right. All right, spirit, thank you, angels and ancestors. Please guide us into the highest white light. Anything that doesn't belong, close that door. Any evil, malignant intent, send back to sender. And so it is. Yeah, self-reflection, judgment, eight of cups. A lot of us are walking away from a lot of things that don't serve us, eh, Scorpio? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Recently called judgment on something that's good. Standing up for yourself. All right, so we have the King of Wands in reverse, practicality. But I feel like this King of Wands is uh, the energy of losing uh, passion, uh, not standing in your power, losing confidence, losing self-worth, but having someone that it's literally bringing you down. It could be also somebody um, that lacks uh, self-worth, uh, they're very insecure. And they like to project that into you, but take it how it resonates, you know, use the sermon. And you have the Ace of Swords in reverse, a liar, a cheever, a conniving, a con artist. This feels also very, somebody very promiscuous. You probably have dealt with someone like that, or this is you, take it how it resonates. But this is somebody who, uh, they just like to lie a lot, manipulate people a lot, there's, they use sex as a form of manipulation. They're probably very attractive, yeah. Ace of Cups with the Four of Swords in reverse. Recovery. And then you have the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Hey, damn. Okay. So yeah, so recently you are dealing, for things to deal outside the box, to think outside the box, is that you have someone is controlling you, either through addiction, sex, manipulation, uh, bomb, love bombing you, uh, or this could be you, you know, take it how it is, but this is something that you, you need to let go. Either you need to let go of this, or you need to let go of this constant emotional manipulation uh, towards people to get what you want, right? Uh, a lot of you also feeling the, um, there's a, that spirit, the rejection spirit, the blame spirit, the um, feeling rejected, lack mentality, let that go, okay? Also, in the other sense, you could have somebody that is trying to bring you down, that is trying to lie and manipulate you, uh, you know, they're trying to prevent you for loving yourself or knowing your self-worth. I'm feeling this immensely. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel like if you're still attached to this person, this, this is a karmic cycle that needs to end, right? Because I feel like with the Four, um, with the four of Swords in reverse, it's like nobody's healing here. Nobody wants to heal or this person is not healing or some of you are not wanting to heal with the Four of Cups in reverse. Some of you are feeling kind of like not like rejected kind of thing with the four four in reverse 
or like you're not good enough but i feel like this is a projection from somebody like somebody is projecting this to you you know what i'm saying and i feel like some of you with the wheel of fortune in reverse is like this person is receiving a lot of bad karma this is either you or this other person that you are attached to so the more you stay stick around with this person the more you're gonna get also bad karma like right now you don't understand that why is this person you know why is a lot of things not working for you why is your finances not working for you yeah the seven of cups in like the something has been revealed to you an illusion has been revealed to you and perhaps this is your confirmation like you probably are questioning yourself a lot you're wondering why it's like a lot of things are not happening it could be this person also the king of wands are into uh witchcraft and dark magic this person could be lying to you and doing things behind your back with the ace of cups and the four of cups in reverse something backfire something didn't work and now they're receiving very bad karma it could be something that they have done to you or they have done to a lot of people and now they're getting their karma the point of this to think outside the box is really try to detach from this king of wands energy or somebody who a lot of people lie to you that you know when you listen to your intuition also people who uh, cross your boundaries um also be careful who you eat i'm hearing uh scorpio be careful who you eat uh food with or whoever is giving you drinks or something like that be careful like think outside the box is really also to protect yourself like you might be going to parties or going to somewhere like you might go to a party with this person or something like that they might put some stuff in your drink okay now take it how it resonates if this is you you're gonna get very intense bad karma okay whoever this is whatever your plan is going to backfire okay now for the other person if you're the victim this whatever it is that they're trying to do it's not gonna like basically the the thing is that you have to think outside of boxes in terms of you need to focus on yourself you need to heal you need to focus on you especially if you have people who don't want to um see you heal work on yourself do whatever you got to do like if you're surrounded by liars people who have addictions who are constantly probably drinking a lot or stuff like that but with the ace of cups i'm just feeling like there's something that wants to come in like something it could be you giving you yourself that self-love again or loving yourself again so that you can have that confidence and withstand and create boundaries and and block or go so whoever it is that you need to be doing scorpio like this person you have a lot of people who are, are just not healed and they lie a lot they lie a lot and they like to create illusions yeah drama the nine of swords here yeah you see something wants to come in uh this could be a new relationship a partnership this could be yeah but you have a lot of uh, karmic entities around you and i feel like um divine guidance is just letting you know right now that it's time to let go of this uh whatever is bringing you down whatever is not letting you manif manifest a new love a new job a new relationship yeah the king of cups uh, this is i got the um car the king of the ocean order like right now it's the the focus is you working on yourself self-care um working on your stability um really like shedding like release all these burdens release all these things and focus on yourself like there's you have a lot of people they are not benefiting when you stand up for yourself they're not benefiting when you focus on your truth right when you follow the crowd i feel like you're following a lot of crowd but this crowd is toxic it could be karmic as fuck like th this is just a lesson for you they are dealing with a lot of bad karma right now and if you continue staying attached to them you're gonna get it too and it's not fair because you're somebody that you know the surf's love i feel like these people took advantage of you they're they're always uh, manipulating you they're constantly creating drama into your life right and creating illusions or you know or keeping you as a second choice or something like that i'm hearing you know what i'm saying like right now you need to bring that order to yourself you need to send out for yourself okay yeah with the fool you have a new beginning there's something new that's trying to birth here but as long as you're still attached to these people it's not coming anywhere okay all right let's look at your messages Stand up for yourself, Scorpio, okay? Don't let people or any drama or any people try to... And that's what it's like. If you're somebody that's, let's say, letting go of addictions, right? Letting go of things that no longer serve you, like 
I don't know, like you're trying to heal for something like a sex addiction or something or alcohol addiction or uh, I don't know, drug addiction or any addictive. Like it could be also like social media or, or overworking or overthinking or um, I don't know, uh, over cleaning, anything addictive that like you know that you're aware that you're working on. But these people are constantly uh, tempting you or constantly like, no, it's OK. Like, you know, like they don't respect that. That's your cue. That's your red flag that you need to get away from these people. OK. All right, let's get into it. And I was guided today to um, read you guys the Atlantics of uh, Angels of Atlantis and the Soul Journey um, from their book, okay? So give me a second. I'm just going to see what the messages are. And we're going to get into it together. See, surrender unhealthy relationship. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, indecisions and stability. Yeah, there's a lot of here focus on your health and let go of people and people keeping you confused okay scorpio and surrender all right so let's see the shanley master this is from your ascendant masters be graceful in movement and action okay so as the more these people trigger you don't fall into it they're they're just trying to get a, a sense onto you because they know that you're evolving they know that you're healing they know there's some type of transformation that you're going they know that you're focusing on yourself on your health okay see surrender what you surrender, think outside the box, surrender to unhealthy relationships, okay? Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be to be surrounded by positive people, absolutely. Right now, you are very undecisive. With the eighth, you're going through a karmic cycle. Eight is karma, okay? There is something, yes, it might be confusing. Yes, you might not know right now what to go, what to do, but I feel like the angels, Sakiel, or all the archangels you have, they're trying to let you know to surrender, okay? Surrender your trouble, surrender your, you know, pray about it uh, before you make any decisions, you know what I'm saying? But definitely you have people there projecting and sending you bad juju, like seriously. Like it's very unhealthy to be surrounded by these people because they're trying to bring you down where they are going, right? Because they're getting very, very bad karma. Uh, right now, the number, if you see a lot, the angelic number is 20 or it could be two or zero, okay? So you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You're dedicated to building harmonious relationship of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. Absolutely. All right. Stability. You see what we said ago? That's what you're working on. That's what it bothers them. These people are unstable. They're disturbed. They're like, honestly, they're, they could be emotionally unstable, like... Uh, mentally like you have a lot of a mental uh, psychotic people okay so make sure that you're creating boundaries make sure that you're blocking cutting like you know stand up for yourself know your worth know that you matter that you're good enough that you don't need to be accepting any fucking toxic shit that's not doesn't doesn't go with you okay thinking outside the box is really about you know yourself love yourself focus on your health focus on your stability Focus on your on your money, how to, you know, be independent and not be codependent of toxic people. You know what I'm saying? How can you remain calm while you're dealing with all this situation? Trust me, it's a, it's a, it's a practice, okay? But you, you got this. You can do this, okay? Stability. I allow myself to give and receive support. I trust in the pathway that unfolds before me. I recognize the interconnectedness of all things. I lovingly support myself with kind thoughts and of encouragement, compassion, and understanding. I am supported. You're trying to block my, my throat chakra. You might be dealing with someone uh, trying to block your throat because they don't want you to talk the truth or say the truth or to defend yourself or to talk about, like, you know, to defend yourself around these people because they're benefiting from your energy. So be careful with that. I would definitely suggest to uh, meditate with lapasuli and hematite, okay? Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Absolutely. And the heart chakra. Definitely. I feel like you're going through some kind of heartbreak or something, especially if you have to let go of family or friends or people that you thought they were with you, but they're not. Okay? They're not. All right. So I was guided to read these two. So let's get into it. And then we're going to close this. Surrender. Um, this is Sakyo. Gabriel, Metatron, Raphael, 
Okay, Sakyo. Sakyo. Compassion, ecstasy. Surrender. All right, so it says the angel wants you to know that you are holding too tightly to a part of your life and that you need to relinquish that hold. Trust that healing will swiftly come, for it always does. Resistance only intensify the aspect of life that we are holding on to, whether this is a relationship or career or a health. See? Health. Sakiel wants you to surrender to heaven and let the angels carry you. This lover angel wants you to learn how you may release all notion of control, substituting such action with a yielding to the management of life. It's an illusion that any part of life may be controlled by predetermined the outcome. Let go and let God in. Remember, everything that you surrender will be replaced by something better, thus allowing miracles to fully happen. Chant, ha, to allow your groundness to be vibrationally opened. Ha, like I think it's a ha or ha. So whenever you're meditating, try to do like, ha, you know, and it, it, it also it can open your throat, right? Because I feel like it's blocked for you. All right, let's get into health. Health, 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 health. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Your body is your temple, and you are responsible for its care. You have chosen to incarnate in this physical dimension to learn certain lessons. And if you don't maintain the physical vehicle that your soul has chosen, then you're sabotaging your own plan. Your health is vital element for your soul progress, and you should never take it for granted. Be sensible about nourishment and exercise. You could be a sensitive, yes, absolutely. That's what they take it. They, they're like, you have vampire leeches. Being who must be conscious of your surroundings because you can easily be drained by people, places, or things. Always make a ritual of protection and cleansing before you work with a client or just bring your mind back to your heart throughout the day to rejuvenate. This card may also signify a desire to assist other being through physical or emotional healing work. You may be involved professionally in the medical fields, body work, or psychiatric and counseling. Or maybe you're just a good listener who possess sage advice. If you are, if you or someone you know inherited a congenital con, con, disease, past life work may be of some benefits. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped you. I'm sending you so much love. You got this. Don't let these people drain you. And I'm sending you all good vibes. Okay, guys? So see you next video.